If you've seen our recent video where we took a closer look at the Black Panther Wakanda Forever Atuma Build-A-Figure series, you may have heard as we went over some of the backstory of the MCU's Black Panther, as was expertly portrayed by Chadwick Boseman from the character's first appearance in 2016's Captain America Civil War, through his triumphant return to help put an end to the terror and destruction the mad titan Thanos wrought upon the universe. This easily perfect casting only saw such an early end as the world tragically lost Chadwick Boseman, giving the undesired credence to the old colloquialism that the brightest stars burn the fastest, and this world was gifted a bright star. The Black Panther continues on, now only lifted by the strength and legacy created by Bozeman. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe's latest installment, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, the world and Wakanda reel from the loss of King T'Challa and the void left by the powerful leader, hero, and protector. But the world needs a Black Panther. Wakanda needs a Black Panther. We all know one is coming, but how and whom? Will we see the great General Okoye be asked to take the mantle? Will the talented spy Nakia be the one to protect Wakanda? Or will it be in the brilliant hands of Shuri to take her beloved brother's place and serve as a beacon to the entire world? There's only one way to find the answers, and that is seeing the film. That is, if you haven't yet. I can say that I highly recommend this one, particularly for the performances, the journey each character must take, and the return to the world of Wakanda. Today, we would like to do something a little special, and honor the legacy as well as the future of the MCU's Black Panther. Hey everyone. My name is Jonathan, a.k.a. JK of JK Collects. In this episode, we're taking a closer look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends 6-inch scale Legacy and Wakanda Forever Black Panthers, and we hope that you can join us in effort to honor the great Chadwick Boseman. Okay, everyone, here we have it. Welcome back. The Legacy Black Panther, the legendary Chadwick Boseman version, and then our new one for the Black Panther Wakanda Forever Marvel Legends series. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break into these. Of course, we've got to do the, the legend, the legacy first, Mr. Boseman himself, the King T'Challa. Let's flip it around. Beautiful artwork on the bag, right? The purples of the night and the, the blue hues running through the brush here. Just, it is amazing what people can do just what somebody's hands drew this, right? Just masterful, uh, amazing. I am always in awe of that. A little bit of interesting facts about uh, King T'Challa. You know, some of the stuff that we've shared as well. We've got some artwork over here. Same thing on the other side. We didn't really go too crazy on it. Just nice and simple and just all it needed to be, right? So we've got the Legacy Collection Legends with the logo there in gold uh, in a way to honor it. And of course, this is still within the plastic packaging period. So it kept that look. And uh, you know what? Let's, without further ado, let's get this out. Now, uh, fully aware that, right, this is the Legends or Legacy series. So this is one that many of you have probably already seen or have experience with. Clearly, I've already forgotten how to open a Marvel Legends. I go straight to the bottom, but it needs to be done from the side. Uh, if you were shouting at the screen at that moment, thank you for that. I do appreciate keeping me on my toes. It's, it seems like maybe I somehow heard you, okay? Empty box, there we go, let's get that out of the way because we are done with it. And we're gonna pull old T'Challa out of there so that we can get what's most always in there. And look at this background, right? So the majestic sky, we've got like light casting through there and shining on that logo, just absolutely beautiful. It, something that didn't even need to be done, right? The background, you know, not a lot of people notice it until we pull it out, but just those little touches, those little details, you always gotta love them. All right. So let's pull everything out. Let's pull the old face out. The likeness of Mr. Bozeman himself. Let's pull this extra set of hands out so that we can have some, some claw style hands. I mean, you can't, it's not the Black Panther if you don't have claw style hands. And let's pull him out himself. Ooh, man, I devastated that plastic. You see that? Okay, we'll get that plastic out of the way. First and foremost, let's do the hands, right? So let's switch to manual, get this focus straightened out so you can see what I'm seeing here. And look at these, okay, there we go. Pretty clean, very well sculpted, uh, nothing new on that one. Uh, we've got some nice claw effects going on there, the silver features in it. And uh, yeah, it looks fantastic. Um, right, so it, with all of these hands, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift one to the side just because they are sculpted very similarly. Uh, let's see if we can bring the lights up so that we can properly light this. There we go. Now we can see some of those features sculpted in there, right? So some of the, just the general shape of the hand, the way that the musculature changes, that, that little in 
indentation that happens in the palm. Just so well done on such a tiny scale. It, uh, amazing. The, like I say, these are absolute pieces of art. Uh, we can clearly see what the hand flexibility is going to be. We'll see if it carries over into the figure. Uh, some of you are probably several steps ahead of me because this is a Legacy 1, but I am very excited because this is my first uh, T'Challa. This is my first Chadwick Boseman likeness. I mean, look at look at how well it. I mean, it's this. I love it when you can look at a face and it is unmistakably the character it's supposed to be. The individual is supposed to be the human that it was supposed to be. Right, and the smirk. Right, what a T'Challa smirk. I, I can just see him walking in his uh, in his robes, walking into uh, Shuri's little lab. Right, and it's just harkens right back to it. The detail on this is fantastic. I love the detail in the in the hair sculpt, right? Just really well done there. Uh, nothing really stands out from looking at this one. The paint seems to be very well executed. Uh, I mean, even here at the hairline, it almost looked like something was off and maybe ever so slightly, but not enough for me to be upset about it because I have a T'Challa head. All right, moving on, let's take a look at the figure itself and just <clears throat> just absolutely striking. Let's go automatic on this one because I'm going to have it. This is just an absolutely striking figure. I, I, I wish that I had had one all this time ever since they came out uh, several years ago with the first movie. But look at this thing, okay? But you know what? We've got it now, and let's take a closer look at it. Speaking of closer, we're going to zoom in, and we're going to fix that focus. Let's take a look at this head. Uh, oh, my gosh, the detail sculpted into this thing. They just... They don't miss anything. The tiny little lines, the different textures implied in there, just all the different panels and pieces of this. It's just so well done. The silver line on it, the silver lining, if you will. Uh, no silver lining needed with this one. It is a fantastic figure. You can already tell, but these little silver line highlights in there, just so well done. I do not see any flaws in them, which I would hope so, right? It, as far as any opportunity to nail something when you're doing a legacy version of the figure to honor it one more time, you got to nail it. Um, let's check out some flexibility. Okay, so neck is attached to the torso, but I saw something already that makes me happy. You can see that little hinge right there. So we're going to have some pretty good movement, but let's see the side to side. Not not the best. Um, you know, the the jaw is, is quickly hitting the neck because uh, it is a very large uh, neck, obviously, but the jaw does hit it and kind of prevents a little bit of uh, side to side on that. But the up and down, uh, uh, yes, uh, incredible, right? So we've got the profile here looking way up into the sky, that night sky with the purple and blue hues, or looking down, right? Um, sad because he lost his, his father, yes. But looking down, just thinking, right? Contemplating. Okay, so great up and down in the profile. It does not at all look like it's just a straightforward look when it goes up or down, but let's check what we always need to see. And a little bit of interference with the, uh, the necklace here, that trademark Black Panther necklace, but we do have uh, full exorcist capability. And let's check out the arm. Okay, so it looks like this one is obviously probably a just a, a, a re- turn of the original figure. We do not have a butterfly joint in there, but we do have good mobility of the arm, right? We can do the uh, the Winter Soldier. I'm going to spin my arm around just to, just to get it, I don't know, loosened back in place. Who knows? We do have the upper tricep and bicep rotation, uh, which does have the ability to rotate all around, even though it's very musculature. It has the curve to it and also has the larger shoulder, but the shoulder has that rounded bit to it, so it doesn't get caught so much. Okay. We have a double elbow with pins. Uh, again, another thing that kind of indicates a little bit classic version. Uh, it, it would have a lot of good flexibility, but he's just too huge, right? So the muscle is just getting in the way uh, when he goes to flex it, but uh, still pretty solid for considering the size of these Black Panther arms. Uh, no forearm rotation, pretty good looking silver paint on that forearm, but we'll take a closer look here in just a second. And the, the wrists, we already knew we're going to have a back and forth, but it is confirmed and full rotation on it. So there we go. All right, and then the other arm, same functionality, same capability. The one thing I can say about these joints is they do have that, that looseness to them, right? Some of the newer, fresher joints are a lot better uh, done, and it would have been nice to see some updates on it, right? With all these re-releases, let's, let's see some updates, right? Throw some new joints in there. I'm sure there's plenty of pieces that could be borrowed. Uh, but there we go, so same thing over there. 
Uh, we've got that U shape here in the middle. This is free flowing. So it, it almost has the point where it clicks, but it still does have free flow capability. It does have the three point click to it, but it doesn't do that audible click. Uh, just almost like a detent in there that kind of slows it down or stops it at a point, but pretty good. I mean, back flex, forward flex, excellent for some amazing uh, Black Panther posing. We do have hip rotation, but it does separate the silver here. I can see, but I mean, you know, not a huge deal. If you can get a wicked pose out of it, I think separating that silver is not going to be anything to, uh, to really be too upset about personally. Uh, now, one thing that I am a little uh, disappointed is I can already tell there is not much split. This is the Black Panther. This is King T'Challa. He should be able to do like a full on Panther split, but we, we I mean, this is as far as it goes. Uh, I don't have any pull down on the leg and it's just, it's hitting this side here that is a hard plastic, just like the rest of the body. And uh, it, it's just interfering too much. We do have upper thigh rotation. Uh, we do have a double knee as a pinned knee. So that does bring a little bit of wobbliness to it. Uh, if we bend it around, I mean, good flexibility there, right? ready to limber up. He can definitely limber up, but he can't limber up enough to do a split. But I digress, right? It's it's just an action figure. All right, no, uh, no calf rotation. Foot does the up and down very well. Uh, and of course, we've got ankle breaker. And it's the same on both sides. Let me fix that ankle. Same thing on both sides. So we've got that same functionality. And let's take a closer look at these paint apps, right? <laughs> there we go. Power stance. So first, let's, let's look at this necklace, right? So uh, very cool. Very cool. I love the details of it. I do love this necklace, just hands down. Uh, it looks like, I can't tell if it's glare or what, but if you can see, looks like there were some points where the black, uh, came through. Maybe some of the silver came off or didn't fully get painted on there. So just some spots that don't really seem to travel and every angle that I put it, it doesn't quite seem to, they're right there. It gets a similar shine, uh, but it almost seems like there's still some black shining through in there. Same thing around the back, but you know, I really think it might just be the angle because if I move it around, which is, if that is the case and it really does look like it when I'm looking at it bigger on the screen here, that's fantastic, right? Because it can fool the eye because it's so reflective, it's so well done that it almost looks like it's black. Things would do that in real life, right? Uh, the majority of the body is cast in plastics, whether it's a more soft, rubbery, flexible plastic or a hard plastic. So, you know, not a lot of opportunity for paint apps on there. We saw that the, the head, the helmet has very good paint apps. Uh, some, some issues, uh, and it doesn't look like it's a glare thing here on the, uh, the forearm. Can you see that there is truly some black on the very peak of these pieces, but, uh, you know, not a big deal. This is an area that's obviously going to get some wear and tear with a lot of posing. So I fully do expect if there hadn't been any, then thanks to my thumb and fingers, there were going to be some. Uh, these waist pieces, looking good, right? No uh, no really standout issues there. And uh, then there's a little bit on the toes with like the, uh, the Ninja Turtle feet. Uh, just a tiny bit of silver down there. And it is very cleanly done. Nothing really on the back. These do wrap around, but uh, there's there's just not. It's just all cast plastic. And then that little bit that we've already seen. So there we go. That's our guy. But I, I can't not do this before we stand him up, right? Let's uh, let's give him that noble pose, right? And he definitely deserves it. So let's stand. There he goes. Look at that. Perfect. Minimal effort to get him to stand on his own. There is our King T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman, Marvel Legends, Black Panther. That is fantastic. Okay. Now that we've checked out the legacy, let's see what the future holds, right? So here is our new Black Panther for Wakanda Forever, right? So we've seen in the previews, right, that there is a new Black Panther coming. And obviously there's a figure, so there's one coming. If you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to give any spoilers. So you can watch it for yourself and learn who it's going to be. It is, it is fun to go through the whole journey and adventure wondering, oh gosh, who's it going to be? But let's look at the back. We've got our usual render here going on, showing the two additional hands that come with it. Uh, and it looks like they're just matching for the two that are attached to it. Beautiful figure. I cannot wait to get in here. And I love the pattern in the background um, with just like some of the styling that ties right to it. Simply called Black Panther. On the side, we've got some more uh, just hand-drawn things. Again, this was drawn by someone's hand and that is amazing to me. There's our render standing upright. 
on the front render and it looks like we've got hand-drawn stuff back there just what a lovely blend and then we went from uh, plastic packaging to plastic free just means we get to see these these beautiful renderings and all that on there i know some people would much rather see like we saw with uh t'challa but uh I, I see the benefit in both definitely you know we 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 roll with the tide that we're given uh right and this is the tide right now so hey i'm all for it because we still get to enjoy some artwork in the meantime let's pull out this piece of art so empty box we're gonna move that to the side as usual and ta -da, ta -da. wouldn't be a video without those pamphlets i'm telling you okay so bag count we've got this one small bag which probably has both of the fists in it and that looks like the only accessory bag so let's pry this loose and pry this loose so we can free our black panther all right we're gonna have to get a little rough with it there we go we'll pull that flap up and quick check nothing else hiding in there so that is the uh the baggy inventory <clears throat> one small one figure okay so let's check out the small because we already know it's going to be two tiny little hands look at these so delicate um okay so we're going to switch to manual on this one because it is truly such a small and delicate hand look at that I and mean, look at the detail in it i cannot be amazed enough every time at just all the intricate detail a little bit of gold highlight on there masterfully done right that's paint but th tell me that doesn't look like just metal on there because it's such a clean application of that paint right there's no no real odd bubbling or anything like, that. like even looking so close it still keeps that shine keeps that metallic luster and then you've got the detail of those the glove lines all the way across the hand and up within there we've got a little bit of a you can tell it's a little bit harder glove than what we see sometimes right this is this one's one for uh, a little bit more rugged action right so we got a little bit right there yeah to kind of protect that thumb pad area very cool and then of course we have a fist uh, which also has that gold panel on there highlight looking fantastic so all right very well sculpted hands but you didn't come here to look at hands we're gonna see hands on the figure so let's take a look at said figure and see what wakanda's new protector looks like and there it is there she is right right quite clearly a she so we do know that and then we've got like maybe one of three contenders out there oh my goodness did you see that and just me prattling on kind of playing with it look at this side to side and it, it always helps, right? So in the legacy one, we saw that the neck was a lot larger, right? Forward and to the side, just the, the general width and circumference of it. So the jaw was hitting a lot faster, but this one has a lot more movement before the jaw hits it. So that is great as far as posability. Uh, and this is just on the, the, the little ball or what do you call it? A, maybe a dumbbell barbell joint up in there. So it does have a lot of movement, right? It, but, uh, gosh, that side to side is great. So up and down, there's our up in our profile, definitely above what straightforward would be. And then down also very good. Obviously not quite the, uh, the, the but pretty close, but not quite as far as if it had that little, uh, hinge, uh, point in there, but Let's, uh, let's zoom in on this face. Uh, let's see if we can switch to manual and try and get it as close as possible. Let's keep this thing properly lit. Look at the detail on this mask. Just all the little features, right? The silver, the gold, the, the lines, uh, the texture put into it, right? So very much like the legacy we were just looking at, having all those different textures, looking like different panels of this helmet, this head, wonderful. Well, I tell you, it, this is amazing, but I do wish that they would have revealed or had a way to get uh, the individual's head unmasked on this. But you know what? That's probably going to be a future release. But look, we've got the, the little silver dots up here. The eyes are that silver, but the way that they catch the light are just majestic with a little bit of gold around it. I don't really see anything standing out with these amazingly detailed paint apps i mean such small precision needed the silver <clears throat> excuse me into the gold and then up here on the top uh that little bit right there. there there could be some but again i don't know if it's a glare thing or not but the gold wraps around to the back of the helmet 
looking pretty good, right? Yeah, not bad at all. And then we can see uh, the necklace wrapping around a little bit different style, but still shows that same basic idea that we saw with T'Challa's necklace, right? And then a little bit on the shoulders. Speaking of shoulders, let's check out that flexibility, right? So let's switch back to auto so we can back her up. And no butterfly joint for this, uh, this lady's shoulder. It does not rise very much higher than that, right? So I can force it up, but it does pull itself right back down because it's really the joints that are moving. But it does have good rotation of said shoulder. And what's happening is it looks like this piece is hitting, right? This is starting to rub underneath there and that is hitting. So a concern with that would be, right, paint rub. It might come off on the inside of that if we push it up too high. Uh, so far, not really an issue, but over time, obviously it would happen. Uh, upper bicep and tricep rotation, very good, very clean, even with a little bit of musculature in there, thanks to that round shoulder. Uh, I like the gold highlights continuing down there. Double pinless elbows. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. Double pinless elbows. Look at that. You scratch. Scratch your own neck, right? You got an itch, you got to scratch it. Double pinless elbows. Great. Uh, almost looked like there was a line right there to, to rotate the forearms. I was a little excited for a moment, but no forearm rotation. But it does have the wrist, and we've got the back and forth of that. And then on the other side, we're looking at the same thing. Same difficulty with raising the arm and concern with raising the arm. So posability in dealing with that shoulder, a little bit of a challenge um, because we don't want to rub off that gold and we don't want to force the arm to do something it's not supposed to do. Uh, wrist, same thing, same full rotation. And that is our other fist along with our other claw. Uh, mid torso, right? So underneath the rib cage, yep, good flexibility there. We've got full rotation capability, good back and forth, right? So leaning back a little bit, leaning forward, very good for posability. Even side to side has some pretty good tilt to it. That does mean we do not have a hip rotation, which is fine because we would have this line stays fairly well masked, right? I, I always kind of prefer when it's done this way, right? Because it, it does, the body has a, an almost automatic line like this with the rib cage, right? So it's easier to mask that with some of the natural lines. And then of course the shape of the body, you can kind of just mask it there and hide it. If we had that straight line across, yes, it would add some more posability, but it would separate the body, right? So it would separate these gold lines and, and just kind of add that one line that may not be the most ideal to look at. So let's see what we got going on with the legs. They do not do the drop down, uh, which I, again, I'm always a fan of that because it just gives so much more freedom. Uh, but the kick, not bad, right? It does beat the legacy one that we were just looking at. It does have a little bit higher kick. Uh, I don't want to push it too far. We do have upper thigh rotation, but this is another one that's going to separate uh, some pieces, right? So we have that silver line right there. If we rotate too much, it's going to separate it. The gold one stops at this line, so that one's not an issue. Uh, double pinless knees. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Ready to limber up. So ready for the run. The good old Wakanda 5K. I think we've mentioned that one before. Uh, no calf rotation, but the foot does have... On up and down, uh, a little tough to a little tough to move, and I think part of that can be attributed to it's just a thinner build, right? When we have these thinner builds, they're they're a little bit more wavy and wobbly, but good up and down on the foot, can't complain, and we do have ankle breaker capability. And you know what I forgot? Exorcist rotation, boom! Better late than never, right? We do have it full exorcism. Okay. So good breakdown of this one, and let's take a look at these paint apps. So let's get a little bit closer. Let's shift to that manual so we can get it as close as possible. Look at the textures on this thing. So we already kind of looked at the paint apps on the head, and then just looking all over the body, like even the shoulder here, right? We haven't had any rub off yet, so it is looking okay. Let me keep that focus in check. So it's looking okay, no rub off so far, but there are some points, remember, where it can easily happen, these two pieces here. So every other one is ready to rub off if we do the shoulder too high. But on both sides, so far, so good, right? We are in the clear, nothing's really come off. This one doesn't quite reach what looks like the end of its line, but it's kind of tough to say, right? Because it's got that shape, it almost looks like it was intended to go all the way to the end, but then, you know, maybe not. because they don't both do it and then there is a little bit of a, a little bit of a break at the end of the gold over there 
tough to say. Not enough to detract because it happens on both sides, so I am then led to believe it's probably intentional. Just like here, this stops here, but it stops here on the other side, so probably intentional. And then there's a lot of detail mixed in with the silver and the gold here, which is just fantastic. Uh, it's neat to see how the black can shine through on those, and, it, and the, you don't see gold spilled in those little black holes right there. Um, yeah, the gold travels up underneath here. Doesn't look like it's perfect. Looks like it may have already had a little bit of rub, but that's okay. Uh, most of the time it's going to be hidden unless I flex it, but if I flex it too far, you can see that cavity in there, right? So I'm not really going to be doing that. And all in all, solid paint apps. It, uh, it's one of those things where it keeps looking like there's issues, but then I think it's just a texture, a detail of the suit. So no issues, no, no concerns, no real complaints with this one. Uh, paint does travel around to the back, so we have here on the, the wrist, or the, the forearms, the gauntlets, the gold on there, well done. These pieces wrapping around, these on the calves, also very cleanly done, and that's just that's just what you want to see, right? No real complaints or issues. The black is cast plastic, either hard or some of the rubbery so that it has a flexibility, but uh, yeah, excellent. I am uh, I'm very pleased with this one. I do look forward to everybody being able to unmask this character by watching the movie. Uh, whether you see it now or whether you see it when it's available at home, definitely worth checking out. Let's see how quickly this, this person, this Black Panther, wants to stand. And there we go. Stood pretty well on her own without a lot of coaxing. All right, so that's it. We're going to come back some, with some 360s of these two together, and we'll be right back. Hey everyone, here we have our 360 view. There is our legacy Marvel Legends King T'Challa, AKA Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther. And there is our new, the future Black Panther from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. If you have not checked out the movie, please do so, so we can all know who is underneath the mask. No spoilers coming from here. Definitely a great movie. Uh, both figures are currently available, right? So the return of the King T'Challa one being offered in stores and that one, the new future Black Panther is also available. So yep, highly recommend both of them. If you don't already have this version of the Black Panther, definitely pick up that new one. She's a great ad. Thank you. Well, that about does it. Thank you so much for checking us out and for joining us on this particular journey. Look for a new video each week, if not more. Be sure to subscribe and click that like button. It would really help us out and it would honestly mean a lot to me. If you'd like to see some more videos, there are a couple of quick links on your screen right now for you to check out. No matter what, thank you for taking the time and we are all in this world of collecting together. Let's look out for each other. Thanks.